Hey you guys, Home Swag Addicts here with a hair affair. And I want to talk about the Organic Root Stimulator Olive Oil Smooth and Hold Pudding. Now you may have seen this. I didn't do a search for reviews on YouTube, but I'm sure there are some up there. And when I saw this in Walgreens, I stopped dead in my tracks. Now, we all know what this is supposed to be a dupe for. And it is the Curly Buttercream from Miss Jessie's. Now, I have not tried any of that. I'm not paying $30 or $54 for a hair product unless it's promising me waist length hair in a month. So I cannot compare it to that. I'm just giving you my thoughts on this product as it stands. I'm sure there are some comparative reviews out there. I do plan on searching for them. I just haven't had the time to because and I didn't look for those kind of reviews because it wasn't going to mean anything to me because I'm not paying for Miss Jessie's anyway. The reviews I have heard from Miss Jessie's, though, aren't that favorable in the sense that the product isn't going to do for you what it does for the people on their website in those videos because most of the people in those videos have had their silkening process done to their hair, which is why their hair reacts to the curly buttercream or curly meringue or curly whatever the way it does. And... As I have stated before, Miss Jessie's products are formulated for people that have that grade of curly hair where your hair turns into big bouncy ringlets, which is generally the case when you might have a parent that is African American and Asian the way that the two girls that own Miss Jessie do. Their grandmother came up with that concoction, the Miss Jessie of Miss Jessie's, because she couldn't deal with their hair. She didn't know what to do with it because they had that kind of hair. Their mother was Asian and their father was black, and so they were that resulted in their hair texture. She came up with stuff to help control their curls. And if you don't happen to have that uh, lineage and, you know, that type of hair, or hair that naturally curls when it gets wet and forms big ringlets, this probably isn't going to do that for you either. What it does, though, is it does add some sheen, it does add some control, and it does add some hold. And I like it. I, though, do not use this when I'm twisting my hair when my hair is wet. I still use my Live product, which I don't have here, and I should, but that's what I use. Hold on a second, I'm going to get it. Okay, I'm back, and this is the product I'm talking about. You can find it at any beauty supply store. It has been my go-to for twisting my hair, and it's like a thick, it's almost empty. It's like a thick, white, creamy product. This is what I use to twist my hair when it's wet. It adds some weight. It adds unbelievable sheen and it makes it so that your hair will move that's what I use to twist my hair up when I when it's wet now also I know you see me and I've had like super tight close to my head twists and those twists are um when I just my hair is nappy right after I've washed it and then I twist that I get super tight twists now my hair is pretty long but in order for the twist to kind of be like this and be longer, I have to stretch my hair before I twist it up. So what I do is after washing it, I'll braid it up into braids and then just kind of wear that pin to my head with some little clips or something for a couple of days to stretch it out. You don't have to wear it for that long, of course. You can just, you know, braid your hair for and have it be braided for like two or three hours. Or you can sit under the dryer. You might have your hair put into French braids. I would do that sometimes. Otherwise, I'd do two, like, twist corn rolls just to stretch my hair out. Then after my hair is stretched out, I proceed to my other styles. My hair curls up very, very tightly after it's been wet. This, I discovered, naps my hair up and makes it short again when I apply it to just my head. This does not do that. This is more of a grease texture. This is much more um, liquidy. And it really does uh, frizz up your hair if you have that texture of hair. Now, it says it's a moisturizing gel, so that's what gel would do to my hair, too. If I just put gops of gel in my hair, it would, like, shrink it up and frizz it up. So what I, how I use this is what I do is I use it, since it is much more moisturizing, I use it to puff up my twist in the morning. So what I do 
is, and I'll turn around so you can see my hair. So what I do is in the morning, I uh, put a handful of this. Not, a, not I won't say a handful. I'll put like three hand, three fingers full of this in my hands, rub my hands together, and then literally stretch out my hair like this with the product paying special attention to the ends so that the ends will be like curled up and I do that all over my head and it gives it uh, a lot of sheen and it helps it puff up from me like laying on it all night. I also sleep on a satin pillowcase though so it's not sucking out the moisture that I've had during the day. Then I might spray it with either a little oil sheen or a homemade spray that you can find at Motown Girl or I had been using organic stimulator sheen oil or something it was like a tiny sample I had as you can see I put quite a considerable dent in this and I do like it especially at $5.99 instead of $54 the way the Miss Jessie's product is I highly recommend you give it a try if you have natural hair and see how it works for you try it with your hair wet which is what I did so I initially washed my hair um you know I co-washed it and then I went straight to this and I did not like the results from that. It drew my hair up too much. So then I straightened, stretched my hair, and then just used this to twist it. And it frizzed my hair right back up as if I had washed it. So then what I did, I stretched my hair, um, braided it up using this, twisted it using this later to get longer twists. And then I just used this for morning maintenance. And it works well. And it still kind of pulls my hair up. Like, you see my twists aren't long like this they're still kind of pulled up but I do like the effect that it gives and so what I usually do is I wear my hair like this for a week then I'll undo the twist wear the twisties for like a week and then I'll start all over again and wash it and braid it up again but I am recommending this product I really like it so don't expect the crazy like super curly, smooth, defined curls. If your hair doesn't do that already with this product, I I read so many reviews when Miss Jessie stuff came out of people complaining, well, my hair didn't do it. No, your hair didn't do that because that's you don't have that type of hair. That's what a lot of people don't seem to understand. Just because the hair on the model in the ad looks that way, that doesn't mean your hair is going to look that way. You have to know what works for your hair. And I have made this product work, work for my hair. So I am definitely going to be using the rest of this up. Now, while I'm wearing twists for the summer. And I do like it for what it is, but I have discovered how not to use it. Also, I think this would be really good for people that are transitioning who have done the big chop. Because um, I have to deal with my hair a whole different way than somebody who's got like an inch of hair or two inches of hair on how I want it styled. Because of my grade of hair, my hair grades up and it shrinks, so I have to figure out ways to wear it out longer um, or have the style be longer if that's what I want. I have to figure out how to do that. And the only way to do that is trial and error like I did with this with three different styles and dealing with it. So don't get discouraged if you're watching this and you just uh, cut off all your hair and you're working through it. Um, I do want to say that. Don't be discouraged. You do have to do trial and error because you have to figure out what works for you. And I figured out a way to make this work for me. I would purchase this again. This is probably going to last me a long time though. Because I don't think I'm going to finish this before the summer's over. And I don't wear twists in the winter. I go back to wigs. So we'll see. Um, there's no expiration date on it or anything. But you can read more about this at the Organic Restimulator website. And I'm sure there's some more reviews on YouTube. I do like it. And for $5.99, you, no, this is worth trying. It's absolutely worth trying to see how it's going to work for you. Not $54, it's $5.99. So you can give this a try. And I've always had, uh, I love organic food stimulator products. I really do. And their olive oil line is great. So give it a try. It's the Smooth and Whole Pudding, which moisturizes, shines, and holds um, from Organic Food Stimulator's olive oil line. I really think you'll like it. You just have to figure out a way to make it work for you. And... Thanks for watching this. If you have tried it, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm really curious to hear. If you made a video review of it, attach it to this video. Um, I want to see what other people think about it. So thanks for watching this, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Friend me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter using the links in the description box or on my blog. 
then do me a huge favor and head on over to iTunes and give me a rating and a review for my podcast, The Home Spot Gotta Show. I'd really appreciate it. You can learn how to subscribe to the podcast in the video that follows.